welcome back everybody my name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting the channel consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing if you enjoy the content we post weekly videos. So this right here is a trip that I've been looking forward to making for really years but definitely here lately. So we're on the way right now over to a friend of mine's house to pick up some chicken eggs that he's been saving for me. So he got into growing chickens just a little while back. Uh, he has a bunch of laying hens and he's kind of overrun with eggs. So I reached out to him and said, hey, we're thinking about getting chickens on our place. Will you save me some to hatch out? I just thought that would be an enjoyable part of the process to experience the actual incubating, hatching, um, and raising itself instead of just going like straight to tractor supply somewhere and buying chicks So I really don't even know what all types he's gonna give me it sounds like he's gonna give me a mixture of eggs He has a, a big mixture of chickens himself and we're perfectly fine with that So that will allow us to kind of figure out what kind of chicken we like in the future We're, we're perfectly okay with that. The ultimate goal here is to get us some entertainment on the farm get us some animals that we're so looking forward to and get us some eggs as well we eat eggs almost every single morning for breakfast all right so we got about a 45 mile trip ahead of us i'm gonna make this drive cut this camera off so we can get there safely and uh i'll show you the chickens once we get there and we're gonna get back put them in the incubator and then hurry up and wait thanks for watching All right, so here we are in what we're gonna call our chicken hatching brooder room slash, well, my shop. <laughs> so we just picked up the eggs as y'all seen for my friend Tom. Thank you so much, Tom, for doing this for us. So he has us a few day old fertilized eggs. And you're gonna notice there's many different sizes in here. And I'm about to butcher this up because he got to tell me about all the different breeds that he had. And I can't remember the names to save my life. <laughs> so he had silkies, he had bantams, he has the Americanas, which he calls the Easter Eggers. I think it's the, the common way. That's your bigger, normal size egg that you see. So he just kind of gave me a mix. He had a mix of chickens running around. So that's what we're just going to start with. And then I guess as we kind of get started with chickens and figuring out farm animals, we'll figure out down the road what, what we like, what we want to go more towards. But we truly do appreciate him saving those yes, eggs for thank us. You. All right, so I've got my incubator plugged in. It is now warming up. And from everything I'm reading, somewhere around 38 degrees Celsius or right at 100 degrees is what we want to go with. I'm going to run an extra thermometer in here and not trust this, well, relatively cheap incubator. So let's go ahead and put our eggs in and uh, I'll explain the process. And then we hurry up and wait for these things to hatch, assuming they actually hatch. All right, this is just a cheap Amazon incubator here and it's got these different pieces that you can drop in for different size eggs say if you're doing quail eggs or gigantic duck eggs or different size chicken eggs and it supposedly will hold 15 or more chicken eggs and i hope it will because well we have 18 right here but some of these are smaller breed eggs so all you do is lay them down in this and i made for sure that i bought an incubator that actually rolls the eggs because that is critical when you're trying to hatch these, they need to be turned. That's what a mama hen is going to do constantly. Put a couple of big ones up in there. We'll call this one chicken noodle. Chicken noodle. Chicken wings. All right. Where's <laughs> chicken soup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll have fun naming all these later as we learn their crazy personalities and uh, get a good look at them. So let's try to gently get all these in there if we can it's gonna be tight it's gonna be really tight oh we might not have oh we might just uh, have just enough room this here this may have worked out absolutely perfect wow 
Yes. Tom, you, Tom, you knew me well. <laughs> So let me explain what we got going on here. There is little trays down on the bottom that you can't see. Four trays total, and you have to have a certain amount of humidity along with temperature for your eggs. So I read the pamphlet. I'm a novice at this, we both are, and I filled up the center tray. It said for the first week, you just have one tray of uh, water in there for a lower moisture. As they go into that second week, I'll fill up two trays all the way to once you get toward the end, you'll fill up all four trays for that extra humidity. All right, so this one also has a gear in here. And as you can see, this tray right here will rotate back and forth, turning the eggs. And it does that every two hours, if I remember correctly. So I've got to make for sure that I line that gear up with the trays. And let's go ahead and test that feature out, make for sure that that's going to work. So look at the eggs in here. Let me go ahead and bypass this and see if I can get the tray turner to turn on. And there it goes. It is now gently rolling the eggs over. All right, that was our test and I've seen them slowly roll. It'll do more than that every two hours. So as you can hear, this also has alarms to let me know when it's not at temperature and it's not because I just had the lid itself off. And this one also comes with a candle feature. So you turn that light on. So if you're new to chickens like us, that candle feature is kind of neat and something I'm looking forward to. So I've been told around the 10 day mark, we can come out here and take these eggs. You stick them over that bright LED light, turn it on, and you can actually look at the nice. little embryo inside and see if it's cool. developing. So we're not expecting a hundred percent success rate here with a cheap incubator. And I think it's just about impossible to always expect a hundred percent, but we can expect to be kind of high on our hatch rate. But you come out here around 10 days or so, periodically check, shine that light up through that shell mm -hmm. and see if it's actually developing, if your eggs are good or if they're bad. Our luck, all of them will hatch. <laughs> uh, yeah, no kidding. We really don't have room for 18. I got extra because I'm expecting some to not hatch. But like she said, with our luck, we'll hatch them all. And then we're going to have to find somebody to give a few to once they get a little bigger. But we'll see how all this works out. So these are fertilized eggs. I've been told they're good for up to seven, maybe a little bit longer days from once you actually take them out of the nest. He had roosters in there to do their part. The hens have been laying on it. He picked them, held them for us gave me some tips and tricks. Um, again, I really do appreciate that. And we'll take all the tips and tricks that we can get from y'all. So what's gonna be coming up in the next episode, by the way, these hatch somewhere around 18 to 21 days from now. So we got about three weeks before the magic's really gonna happen. But that means I got three weeks to get my indoor brooder ready. I've done already ordered a heat lamp because you have to keep baby chicks nice and warm. We want to keep that around 100 degrees as well because, well, that's what they typically are when they're being set on by their mother and what's in the incubator right here. I've already got a container that I'm going to use for my brooder and then I guess uh, we'll have to go figure out the chicken scratch. I've already been told uh, a starter around 20% uh, protein is good for laying hens, so let me know that. What else do I have? I've already picked me up a water and a feeder that had really good reviews on Amazon. So I think we're getting close to ready. We gotta get pine shavings. I gotta do a little more research so as you can see. We're getting the nursery ready, right? We're getting the nursery <laughs> ready, the brooder. That's basically what it is. So we're gonna hatch these out. We're gonna raise them. We're gonna share all this with you. So we'll see you back in a couple of weeks once the magic starts to happen. We can start checking on these inside the egg, seeing what's developing. And then once we finally get some baby chicks hatched, that's gonna be fun. We can move them out start uh, showing them as a part of the channel, part of the farm. This is our first animal, something we've been dreaming yes, about. We've had this place for eight years mm -hmm. and we've known that we've always wanted animals. This is just a small start. Eventually we're gonna get into goats, cows, horses, everything else. But we thought chickens would be an excellent start and something we wanted to share with y'all. All right, so the beginning of our journey. Thank y'all for tagging along. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode. See ya.